Imagine being buried, and then waking up to find yourself trapped underground. Scary, right? Well, that fear was very real for people just a few centuries ago. In fact, it was so real that they invented a clever solution. Bells on graves. Back in the 18th and 19th centuries, medicine was nowhere near as advanced as it is today. People couldn't always be certain someone had truly passed away. Sometimes a coma or a faint heartbeat was mistaken for death. And tragically, that led to a few very unfortunate cases of live burials. It sounds like something out of a horror movie, but in reality it happened enough times that people started to get seriously worried. To prevent this terrifying fate, a new invention emerged, the safety coffin. Basically, it was a coffin with an escape plan. Designers started adding a small tube or shaft leading from the coffin up to the surface. At the end of this shaft, they attached a bell. If someone buried alive woke up, they could pull on a string inside the coffin, which would ring the bell above ground. If you were walking by and heard that bell ringing, it wasn't a prank. It was a real-life emergency. Let's break down how it worked. So here's a coffin with a bell. So if you were still alive when they misdiagnosed you, they could come back and save you. How freaky is that? A string or cord was attached to the person's hand or wrist, running through a tube up to the surface. So, if the deceased woke up, all they had to do was move, and the bell would start ringing. In some places, people even hired watchmen to listen for these bells, hence the origin of the phrase graveyard shift. Over time, these stories left an eerie legacy. Phrases like saved by the bell and dead ringer became part of everyday language. And today, the grave bell remains a spooky reminder of how far medicine has come, and just how deep some old fears ran. Thankfully, with modern medicine, the fear of being buried alive has faded into legend, but the idea of ringing bells on graves still haunts popular culture and makes us wonder, what if? So the next time you hear the phrase is saved by the bell, remember its eerie origins in the graveyards of centuries past. Who knew something so common today started as a life-saving idea in a time of deep fear? Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. No pun intended.